from the Lamb Times, BeardLambTimes.com, and FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. After the Washington Redskins drop a Sunday night primetime game to the New York Giants, 24 to 17. Let's head on into the locker room now and hear what the players have. You like your guys' ability to kind of fight through these last four games and, and try to salvage what you guys have. Had. Yeah, I mean we still got four games left, so we're going to go out there and we're going to give give it our all. I mean we got no other choice but to go out there and try to win. As far as the start, you mentioned you guys got off to, and then they made adjustments. Didn't seem like you guys kind of countered. Did you feel like that was the case tonight? Did you weren't able to kind of jab back and forth with them as they changed the things? Well, I just think I think the first two series, you know, we we they got nothing on first and second down. So then third down, it was you know, they had to they had to try to get more yards than they would have gotten more on first and second down. And then you got a guy like Rack rushing as well as he was. I mean, they they were getting off the field quickly. So I mean, not, they're they're a good team. They're going to get their yardage yardage. And so they are. The two plays before the turnover at the end that ended it. Did you hear first down call? Did you? What, what, what did you? You know, I don't specifically that? remember. Um, yeah, I just remember it being a first down. You know, I can't specifically remember him. Uh, you know, doing the first down mark, but yeah, everybody just assumed it was first down. It looked like we had the yardage. Um, just kind of another weird thing that, that happened to us. I don't know why. After the start you guys had, 14 nothing early in the second quarter, and things are going right for the first time in a few weeks, you know, what, and then by the end of the end of the half it was tied. Is that, you know, what is, does that take us to the emotions there, where things are going, the, going so, so good for the first, you know, 16, yeah, 17 I mean, I, you don't come out, you know, you come out and play hard and, um, you know, you expect to win, but you don't necessarily expect when you score two touchdowns that it's going to be a blowout all of a sudden. Uh, you know, you don't want to take your foot off the gas pedal, but they were able to answer, answer back. Um, we knew they had the weapons to do that. And offensively, you know, we, just, we had to score more, and, and we uh, we came up short. So, uh, I guess we're on that one. I echoed that earlier. We stopped ourselves at the same time. That's their job. They put 11 men out there to stop us as well, so we got to give credit to them as well. But um, we definitely want and need to improve execution-wise if we want to win these games. That, that being said, you, you look at the stats, you look at this game on paper, and it looks like you guys should have won. When you see the numbers, you'll, you'll think the same thing. Mm -hmm. so then, how are you not getting to it? Why, why can't you guys finish? What, what do you think the problems are? I got to default right back to what I said, that the, the penalties on opportune time, the turnover, um, and execute on crucial downs. So all those things just, they halt momentum, they halt drives. Um, I had, you know, chances that I could have done better on uh, after getting the ball, things of that sort. That you just called us at the end, so, you know, uh, what we got to do as a team is go out there and take advantage of the game early and, and win and, and move the ball because we can't rely on the refs. All year we, we, we haven't been getting nothing, so at the end of the day, we can't rely on them to call the game for us. They, and never been going in our favor. Santo, what happened with your call? I guess they had a holding call, then they hit you with unsportsmanlike. Like, yeah, I, I mean, honestly, you know, he called a holding, and I just thought it was a BS call, so I, I told him it was a BS call, and he gave me unsportsmanlike conduct. So I guess I got an unsportsmanlike conduct for saying BS call. It seemed like last year you guys would find crazy ways to win games, and this year it's almost like you're, there's wacky ways that you guys are losing games. How frustrating is that? So frustrating to the point I can't even tell you. you know. But at the end of the day, we still got some more games to play, so we got to just, you know, put it behind us and keep pushing. How do you guys do that, though? I know it's not easy. I know it's taking a toll. We can, you know, we can tell. We see you guys a lot. It's, it's a job. It's a job. You know, I can't quit. You know, I mean, I wouldn't quit if I was allowed to quit. You feel me? You know. So at the end of the day, you know, you know what? Every week is going to be a different challenge. And if you here, you here for a reason. You here because you know it's not going to always be peaches and cream. And um, the ones that quit, the ones they're not no longer here. So at the end of the day, man, you know, you, you got to put this behind you, regardless of how tough it is, how, how hard it hurts, you know, how stank it smells. You got to go out there and fight another week, and that's all we can do.